Good morning everybody, hope you guys are having a wonderful day or had a wonderful day. Today I will be vlogging with the G1X Mark II. I actually vlog with the G7X, but I was going to return this to get the G7X Mark II. But I thought I was so tired, I think it was like two nights ago. But then I accidentally ordered the G1X Mark II, not the G7X Mark II. So I decided to vlog today with the G1X Mark II. At the end of the video, I'll give my final thoughts and review. But for now, everything looks great. I like it. And now in the studio, it's been really crazy. I've been in here almost every single day doing orders and orders and orders. So one thing I can notice right now about this camera is it's doing pretty well under low light. It's actually pretty dark in here, but it looks bright in the screen on top of me. So an order that I have been working on is actually the Junior Dance Team's uniform, which is right here. This is the back, this is the front. We got two sleeve prints, and they don't know about us, just on the back. So it's a really cool uniform for JDT. JDT, hopefully you guys like them as well. On top of that, they also get a shirt with the exact same thing, but it's JDT on the front and the same design in black. Yeah, so I've been working on that. We also are restocking on the game day jersey, so we're working on that as well. I have another order for a friend for his church, and then I got more, 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 more. But it's good, I like it. I got one, two, three, four boxes, and then I have five boxes, a six boxes, and I have about three more boxes coming. Oh my god, there's so many boxes. But it's a good thing, you guys. It's always a good thing. So I'm looking up the G1X Mark II, and it came out in February 2014, and it looks like it's a pretty good camera. And from the ratings and from the reviews from people, it just, there's only positive things about this camera. So what I can tell right now, the G1X Mark II is significantly a lot better than the G7X, in my personal opinion right now. In terms of quality and the autofocus, if I'm far away, focus. I'll come up close, it focuses, everything focuses pretty quickly, a lot faster than G7X. And that is one of the biggest problems that this camera has. Now what I can tell you right away, the difference between this camera and that camera is that this has a aperture, low aperture of 1.8, whereas this one has 2.0. Honestly, the 0.2 does not make that much of a difference, especially with these two cameras. It looks great. I mean, the depth of field feels looks a lot better than the G7X in my personal opinion. And if you switch over to a lighter background like that, it still has a focus on me. Usually what happens is the subject turns black and the background turns brighter, but in most part, it's holding up very, very nicely. Switch over film. Not bad. I am pretty impressed with this camera. The only reason why I'm not gonna be keeping this camera is because it's so big. All right, this job is done. Very nice. It's already pretty late, but I gotta get started on another job. But guess who is here with me tonight? All right, so here's a quick view of just the nighttime, how it performs during low light. It, it is dark, but there are some lights, but overall it's way brighter than it looks here. dead bird that fell from all the way up there if you can see the sun is already up and it's currently morning it is 7 15 a.m and i'm done for tonight or today or this i don't know i mean the past couple hours i've been just printing and working stella came and helped me earlier and she helped me with a lot of things so it's really helpful she stayed here till 4 a.m just helping me you guys these armor of gods are the hardest things to print but this time it's a little different because it's for god's image team 2 we have gim la god's image on the front the belt of truth so printing one shirt is like six shirts so if i'm printing a hundred which i am right now it's printing like 600 shirts i don't know if i showed you guys yet i think i did so this is going to be my office slash my room i'm going to be dorming here the walls are painted white and that is currently like a matte black kind of dark brownish 
and we're gonna do carpet installation really really soon overall there's gonna be a lot of good things happening within this studio a lot of transitions a lot of hard work and it feels so good outside when you're in there all day and all night it just gets really stuffy and the air doesn't get really good the air isn't very healthy oh my gosh another bird you guys there are so many dead birds here look at that one that pretty much this bird is gone you can see all the bones inside it's like a chicken anyway there has been a lot of dead birds here recently i don't know why either they fall from the roof or they just i don't know i don't know why they keep falling Normally I wouldn't drink this unless it's after V3 practice, but today I feel like I need it. Just a recovery drink to help your body recover. <sighs> so it's 7.30, so what I'll be doing is I'll be going to Starbucks, I will edit. I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but here is another dead bird that became completely bones. This was, I mean, that's like, that's the legs right there, all that. And then here's another bird that fell. It's like a baby bird. It's a really tiny bird actually, but it's almost gone. And here is another one. I don't know what happened to this one, but it turned out pretty bad. Probably going to be the seventh bird or now eighth bird that I've seen since like for a whole month. Let me give you guys my final thoughts about this camera. Overall, it's a great camera. Like throughout the video, as I was recording myself, I could see the autofocus kind of trying to adjust and it actually adjusts a lot quicker than the G7X. Again, it has a fast and wide aperture of F2, meaning it's under, it's good under low light. And if I come this close to you guys, everything in the background gets blurry. And it has a wide zoom lens. So it, it ranges from 24 mil. So this is at 24 millimeter right now, me. But then because the image stabilization is on, it kind of crops it and on top of that it goes all the way to 120 millimeter which is very good of course the detail in the image does get lost when you do zoom but it's more for something if you want to capture something that's really really far so i don't know how the audio is yet but i'm gonna just assume that the audio is pretty good i don't know about this camera but i know the g7x mark ii does make clicking noises when it does autofocus i don't i don't know i, I can't I can't hear any autofocus noises, so. So I'm gonna just guess that the autofocus is silent right now because I can't hear anything. It's Anyway, I'll be ending this vlog today in my car. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. I know today's vlog was kind of different, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that as well. Remember to stay passionate, inspired, and grateful in all that you guys do. If you are new to this channel, hello, goodbye, good morning, adios.